Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. Well, after a short break last week and a vacation to Greece, I'm back on charts and ready to guide you through all the measures and uh, the trade idea we have for uh, the upcoming week. So while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, we will start with uh, the oil chart and we are on the weekly time frame. As you see last week oil was very very uh, bearish and we ended up with a bearish engulfing candle that did actually engulf um, three weeks as you see here, very big uh, bearish con candle and we really got a uh, engulfing candle that did engulf uh, three previous weeks this showing a pretty strong uh, bearish uh, move here on the daily time frame we see also that we did break below previous low here and um, i'm expecting a possible continuation on uh, this market um, in our trading room last week we were talking about um, these continuations move uh, so every time we had an impulse then followed by flag impulse flag and we were looking for this last one as a possible continuation well uh, we've got that we've got uh, one move uh, to the uh, to the upside and um, a little bit of uh, continuation on the last leg here but there was no continuation or break below previous structure so uh, this ended up to be a double bottom on the four hour and and on the one hour as you see here so uh, key level here on this market um, for next week to keep an eye at where we have uh, the monthly pivot point as well um, you really need to keep an eye on this level because this is going to be the first uh, level that uh, the bears uh, might defend uh, if they uh, happen to uh, still have bullets then there is this possibility that we see another attempt and rejection to the downside while if uh, the bears um, lose control here and uh, the bulls take over uh, the bulls need to break above this uh, neckline of this double bottom here and if that is the case then there is a possibility for this move shorter move up around this area toward the 58 level where i'm expecting a possible level for the beers to start getting interested again and enter this marking looking left we see that this area is um, a pretty interesting level that been acting as a good uh, resistance good support previously here as well once again and this whole area here been acting as nice uh, level of uh, flip zone of uh, support and resistance yeah so first off look at this for a possible rejection here otherwise if we get this move to look for a possible sell from uh, the 58 area on oil uh, gold we had a nice breakout uh, last week but uh, it seems to be a possible fake out here above this um, nice range we have right now so if we look at the weekly time frame we see yet another uh, wick coming from the upside the previous two weeks here as well had uh, wicks from the upside so it seems like uh, this level been defended uh, by the beers uh, um, by the beers every time we had a uh, attempt to to move higher so as you see here uh, on the daily time frame we could see this as a possible fake out followed by an outside bar or a bearish engulfing candle on the daily and we are now testing this uh, key level the the lower uh, time frame range here been tested once again so if we go down to the four hour time frame uh, the the lower range uh, whoops the lower range i'm talking about is the this area here yeah so um as for now we could still see this as a possible fake out but in any case for gold um there is still um this down here uh, this level down here could be your possible bounce area to the to the upside so uh, if gold break below this level here next week there is a possibility for attempt to the downside but keep an eye on this monthly pivot point and the 
uh, level down here where we have uh, previous lows we have the 200 moving average on the four hour is also coming uh, from below at that area uh, possible scenario for gold now when we start entering uh, the uh, summer trading uh, that you may end up with uh, some sideways um, moves um, for a while um, so keep an eye on this range this uh, range is still a key area to watch um, and uh, for more downside of course we uh, need to see gold breaking below this and uh, if that is the case then the next level to watch is the 618 down here around the monthly S1 and this uh, previously um, uh, support and resistance level yeah uh, so as for now keep an eye on possible short term move to the downside inside the upper box on um, on gold and um, there is a uh, potential um, continuation if we break uh, below that uh, for the bulls to take control back again they need to break above make a new high above this one and the retest need to hold here for that continuation yeah as you see last week the attempt seems to be failing because we are uh, back inside the box one more time UUSD also um, some possibility for a uh, summer consolidation here is on the menu so um, also um, short term uh, key support level is at the bottom of this box any attempt uh, to break here may get defended by the bulls for another push to the upside so uh, even on uh, UUSD you probably need to keep an eye on this box if we look on the weekly time frame you see that we are still inside a uh, bigger consolidation here on this market uh, really not much is happening the 200 moving average um, on the weekly time frame still behaving as dynamic uh, support and resistance so it was support back here and now it is acting as a dynamic resistance so still looking pressured still there is a possibility that you see the break uh, and the continuation but as for now i don't think we do have the catalyst yet we will see next week we have the on Thursday um, we have the main refinancing rate monetary policy statement and the most important thing is the ACB press conference that could be uh, some give some kind of uh, catalyst for um, any break to the downside uh, on this market or probably a reversal but as for now as you see on the daily time frame after making this high here uh, bulls been failing to make new highs yeah so it is uh, very pressured during this uh, period of time here and um, again uh, still the key support level in my opinion short term is this area and that is not tested so look for that possible retest of this level there is a possibility uh, for the bulls uh, to start defending uh, this area or if we move all the way toward the last line of defense down here to look for a possible uh, bounce from this level yeah so the friday the friday last friday's candle was a strong bearish engulfing and uh, we are still inside this consolidation so keep an eye on that you may try to buy the low sell high here on this box until you have a break out of it yeah uh, sterling also um, still uh, actually a bearish market but if we look on the weekly time frame we tested this key support level that been acting as support down here and the wick of this candle and as you see last week we had an attempt and we uh, dipped toward that level before a little bit of rejection started to happen so we tested a key level of support on the daily time frame we had a nice um, uh, morning star formation with these three candles here which is a reversal uh, signal but uh, still the most important thing is the structure and the structure in this case is still lower lows and lower highs there is no change in that until you see this high is broken so uh, we should not be talking about any reversal yet um, but we had a nice uh, bounce uh, to the upside that's all uh, previously here we had also a very nice bounce to the upside but the the bulls failed to make a new high as you see and got rejected breaking below previous low so don't rush in a um, long trade yet we're still not there in my opinion for uh, the sterling to to change uh, the main direction which is to the downside uh, the bulls need at least short term to uh, break above um, 
the 1.26 area so you need to see this happening a break above these structures here and that the retest hold above that 1.26 that could give um, the bulls more confidence for more upside on this market so um, it is um, a possible start of a reversal but it is not um, pretty sure yeah so be aware of that um, on the daily time frame we see that um, we had this very nice push to the upside a correction was um, a normal thing to happen but again unless you see a break above this high the longer term uh, move is still to be to the downside so keep an eye on this there is a possibility that you see another attempt here but if the bulls uh, fail to make new high and hold above this uh, previous structure we probably gonna see another push to the downside on this uh, on this market USD Jappy, let's go to the weekly on this one as well. Uh, we're still having uh, big issues uh, to break above uh, this high here. As you see, there was an attempt that failed. So we have another wick coming from the upside. And last week we had another uh, bearish, uh, bearish candle here. Daily time frame also uh, still uh, a bearish market with lower lows and lower highs we had this nice attempt to make a new high but then uh, it failed big time and uh, we broke yet another uh, flag to the downside so in our trading room we were um, also uh, trading short uh, all these flags and last week the idea was to look for um, retest and continuation so we got the retest for now and uh, we're looking for that continuation i think we're gonna see a retest of the monthly s1 for um one more time uh, for next week so keep an eye on this level here next week it is a possible level to sell this market uh, toward monthly s1 and uh, a continuation in this down move USD chief also um, weak again uh, after um, the retest uh, of this uh, previously interesting structure here they failed to make new highs and entered back below the trend line uh, making uh, lower lows and lower highs even on the daily time frame Thursday closed below this structure here so this level is broken as, as well and on the four hour time frame we see that it is look it looking very very pressured with lower lows and lower highs and i'm looking for that continuation to the downside so um keep selling rallies on this market uh this previous structure here is an interesting level if a retest happened to try to sell it keep an eye on this possible flag here uh, so um to speak to sell uh, those rallies yeah one hour time frame you have even better structure here as you see so you could uh, draw a possible box here and keep an eye on that as soon as you have a break to the downside there is uh, a signal for that continuation to happen another thing you could do is to probably look for another attempt to uh, retest this level and if they fail to make a new high then to go for a short anticipating the continuation toward this level or probably even lower and usd cad uh, sideways so far uh, for a while now we've been going sideways so if we uh, look on the daily time frame you see that we have this uh, we have a lower channel now and we have this bigger channel uh, something like this so uh, sideways but the main idea is a continuation to the downside yeah the main idea again i repeat that every week <laughs> we want to uh, be in this uh, trade here i'm looking for this continuation it will take longer time uh, it will not go uh, in one straight line but uh, your main aim should be to keep shorting this market while short term we have a nice bullish divergence on the daily time frame and uh, this consolidation here may end up to be uh, an attempt to make another retest and continuation uh, after that so my uh, main aim here is to look for uh, a possible um, correction to the upside toward this skill zone where we have the 50 percent fibonacci and 618 so if the market enter that kill zone up here 
then to start looking for bearish evidence and the continuation of that uh, move I'm looking for. So longer term bearish, uh, short term, there is a possibility for that correction, especially that we have this uh, very strong bullish uh, divergence on the RSI. Yeah? On the four hour time frame, we see that we start having a nice possible rounded bottom. When these things start happen, you have um, a possibilities that you see something like this and then the start of that uh, correction to the upside. Any break though below the slow here, a strong break below that one, then we may keep going without that bigger correction. But I would love to see that correction happening to have a little bit more um, and better uh, risk to reward. Aussie uh, USD, we were looking for uh, more upside now after this uh, break on the daily time frame above this previous high here. A very strong uh, bullish engulfing candle that did break uh, this trend line and we just reached the 200 moving average um, at that level as well. Uh, this market um, had many attempts in the past but we will see this time uh, we broke actually a nice structure here. Uh, this is a nice strong uh, resistance that got broken. Uh, troubles on the way is of course the 200 moving average monthly R1. But since we broke structure here, I'm still interested to see that there is a possibility of a reversal start to happening here. So this uh, idea that I had on, my, on our trading room last week, still uh, actually a valid idea. So what we're looking for here, if uh, we're going to see any bullish evidence happening inside this area here to try to go long yeah so the the main idea is here stop loss below previous low here uh, give it uh, 10 15 pips below this previous structure on the four hour and depends where you get your uh, bullish evidence as for now still there is no um, a bullish evidence here i would like to see some kind of double bottom happening here or head and shoulders formation that breaks the neckline or something like that uh, as for now nothing of that and uh, if you just want to go blindly long uh, you could do that but it's that is not the safest way to do it yeah so that is the main idea here same scenario for New Zealand USD this one is a leading one this one broke the structure uh, before uh, Aussie USD so this have a even better break a stronger break here as you see above previous high and uh, the same idea here looking for uh, a retest to this uh, broken structure and if we get any bullish evidence around this area around this uh, kill zone here to look for uh, the continuation move toward uh, these highs up here uh, simple uh, strategy here uh, just keep following uh, the structure and as for now as you see we have a nice structure with higher highs and higher lows hopefully we get a retest with some bullish evidence here in this area to start looking for that continuation move to the upside so uh, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next week yet again do not forget to hit that like button for me and if you're not subscribed it just do so to keep me notified when i upload new videos thanks a lot see you next week bye bye